The sandy road was now blotched with shrubs that grew taller as the friends climbed higher. The path became narrower, bordered by rocks that soon turned into boulders. Teddy and Kaboko had to slow down because some of the rocks on the path required them to climb, which wasn't the easiest thing to do, especially for Kaboko. He had started up the path first. And as he went, he would slip and slide on the smooth stones and rocks. Teddy had to stay a distance behind Kaboko, because sometimes when Kaboko would climb over a rock, he'd slip and tumble backwards. The two blinked their eyes and said together, "Singing." They waited a moment longer and smiled. Nodding and saying, "Singing." Indeed, they heard correctly, for in a few moments they saw men and more young boys dressed in the same red robes as the flute boy wore, singing as they walked from a path that appeared from behind the waterfall. They walked around the pond towards Teddy and Kaboko, singing with all their hearts as the flute boy played on. Teddy and Kaboko were fascinated by the beautiful music. They could see other young boys in red robes playing unusual instruments that blended with the flute player. The music continued to float through the air in perfect rhythm with the waterfall. It was magical beyond Teddy and Kaboko's dreams.